Hey everyone, my name is Guilherme, I'm a Brazilian psychologist and I'm here to share some lessons that I've learned by working with immersive media for the SDGs. We all know how much fun virtual and augmented reality can be, but I'm here to ask you, as a creator, how can you use these technologies to change the world around you? So when I asked this question to my friend Pedro, who is a cyclist, he had this amazing idea of using VR to literally walk in someone else's shoes, or in this case, ride someone else's bike. We recorded the perspective of a cyclist while roaming the city, so we could show to car drivers and policymakers what were the challenges that he faced during his daily routine. And I believe the major lesson that I've learned was to reflect on how we can use virtual reality as a tool for promoting empathy. If we design the right experiences, and really show other people's realities. And besides promoting empathy, I soon began to discover the power behind the sense of presence of VR experiences. For instance, when I traveled to the Amazon rainforest, me and a group of friends recorded in VR how it was like to be there in the world's largest rainforest. And by doing so, we were able to share stories of the Amazonian communities with the whole world. But then something interesting happened. My friend's son, who is a six years old, started asking his mom if he could watch the VR documentary every night before he went to sleep. And even though he couldn't really understand it, he kept saying that he wanted to be there, that he wanted to play in the forest. So I think that this is the sense of presence that people often talk about. And even as grown-ups, I believe that we still like the feeling of being immersed in something new and being open to enjoy it and to learn from it. Okay, so there is empathy and there is also a sense of presence. But have you ever wondered if these things feel the same for everyone that you meet? Because inclusive design is something really necessary that I started learning about when I met a boy named Lucas. He has a condition called cerebral palsy, which limits his motor and cognitive abilities. And every day he has to go through physical therapy to work on atrophy in the neck muscles, which makes it difficult for him to keep his head upright. And that is how I saw an opportunity to help Lucas. I joined with researchers and physical therapists to create a game for him. Using VR, we gamify the physical exercise. Every time Lucas raises his head, he sees a little plane rise up in the air and then he scores a point and gets rewarded by a pop sound like and some engaging music. And by doing so, he goes through his exercises with a smile on his face. This one very simple idea helped Lucas to stay engaged in his treatment and may soon be expanded to help other children as well. So, empathy, sense of presence, and inclusive design are some of the concepts you can use and explore on your own creations. You remember that question that I've asked you earlier in this video of how you can use VR and AR to change the world around you? Here, let me show you something. This is my current project. It is called Better World 2030 and it's an AR experience to help us visualize a better world a world in which the SDGs have already been achieved. You open the app, choose one of the SDGs, and start seeing these visual elements pop around your environment. Like here, you can see these wind turbines and solar panels are representing the Clean Energy SDG. And the goal of the app is to allow people share creative videos that they make on social media, starting the much-needed conversation about the SDGs in a fun way. And to develop Better World 2030 has been quite a journey. As soon as I had the idea, my first step was to build a prototype. So I put together the simple app. Without worrying too much about quality, I just wanted to test if the main idea was really fun and engaging. And after me and my friends had a good time playing with it, I started planning the next steps for the project. And for that, I used the critical tool called a Game Design Document, or a GDD. 
In its most basic form, a GDD is a document in which you write the app's overall concept, its main functions, and the desired user experience. And believe me, this helped a lot for planning my project and assigning my to-dos for the next stages. Another crucial tool for planning the project was to draw a mood board, which is a collection of visual references that helped me to pick which visual elements I wanted to include in the project's art style. And then I was ready to start building the app. And if you look behind the scenes, I'm actually following these very simple steps. I had an interesting idea, I tested it, I started planning for it, and now I'm currently developing it. And you can already find the project in open data at the Google Play Store. And I'm telling you all of this because I want to invite you to be a part of this initiative. I'm opening the project for collaboration so we can get to know each other and write this story together. If you want to know more, enter this link and choose one of the following options. Whether you have ideas on how to represent the other SDGs or you want to contribute as an artist or developer, feel free to reach me on my email or join the Discord group to chat live. And you can also check out the page on GitHub for the project. And that's it. So as for today, I have no doubts on the potential of these technologies for helping us achieve the SDGs, especially if you consider what's coming for them in the next few years. And from everything that we've talked about, if there is one thing that you should keep in mind is this, collaborate. Share your ideas and collaborate with your friends' projects. Because if you think about it, every one of those stories that I've told you before, they were only made possible by collaborating with other people. And those may be people who never even heard of those technologies before. Because in the end, we are not really talking about VR or AR. We are talking about people and how we can help them. So I hope I get to hear from you soon and have a great journey using immersive media for the SDGs. See you!